up, what up? It's your boy D sitting back again with another installment of Pop Gus Presents, and we got a special guest in the building today, all the way from the best coast. We got Common Kid. Yeah. 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 What yes? That's us guys. Orange County in the building. Gang, 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 gang. <laughs> so accountability. Kings. That's what yes. we to you guys. Yes, you know, one king to another. Of course. Why don't you give our audience a little taste of who you are as people? Introduce yourself, your likes, dislikes, social security numbers, whatever. Mm. <laughs> Pretty good count. Yes. yes. My bro yes. Count, offshore count. So guys, <laughs> Junior King. Yo, my name is Mata, guitar. Big Rome, drums. Okaluri, this thing. Get to this. Sloppity. <laughs> and we are common kings. Yes. <laughs> We are the Avengers. <laughs> <laughs> so for our yeah, audience out there, these guys rocked Brooklyn Bowl last night. Tell everybody out there how the show was. Yeah, oh, it was dope. Showing up, man. It was, it was fun. fun. Yeah, thank you for everybody that came out. Thank you, Shaggy, for coming on stage and yeah. surprising us. That was super fun. Oh, Burn it. Burn Hell yeah. Come on. <clears throat> we had a blast. Uh, except for Arrow Brown, he fell down. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to put it out. Shout out to the legend, EB. Yeah. <clears throat> dope, 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 dope. So, yeah, it was, once again, it was a great time. As we spoke off camera, this isn't your first time in New York, so tell me what it was like, you know, coming here your first time as opposed to your visit here recently. Ew. Was it cold? First time? It was cold. First. It was really uh, freezing. Like right? freezing cold? Like, yeah. I know the second time we got snowed out and we had to cancel a show. We were at the pharmacy. Oh. And then we went to a uh, karaoke bar down the road. We tweeted all our fans, made us at the karaoke bar, and it was just so lit. It was the best. <laughs> Improvisation. We did the best rendition. rendition. What was your song that you sang? Oh, uh, we did Sweet Caroline. Bam, bam, bam. That's the one. The kind never felt so okay. good. So good. Just like that. Just like that. Just like that. It was, and then yeah. everyone united. That was a good one. You know what I mean? It was great. Making lemonade. Making lemonade out of lemons here. That's, That's right. right. <laughs> <laughs> so, you guys are. Uh, from SoCal, yes, sir. Orange County, correct? Yes, yes, sir. But you guys are also Polynesian. Yes. So yes, we are. Give up you this little backstory on you know Polynesian descent for those who may not be familiar. You know. Well, I'm, well, you guys have all heard about the Rock, right? Yeah. <laughs> Who the is. Rock is? What hey, is the, 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 he's our cousin. You got a like for that. Shout out to our cousin. Shout out to the fam. Yeah. So DJ. <laughs> Uh, no, yeah. We'll be home for Christmas, homie. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're from the South Pacific, yeah. Polynesia. We all kind of come from different islands over there. He's, he's Hawaiian Samoan, I'm Samoan. He's Tongan and Fijian. And uh, yes. we're the uh, Polynesian Beatles, as we would say. That's what we call So that's what it gets. And with the blow up size. The blow up size. Yes. yes. So, yes. so you guys, you know, being South Pacificers, living in. SoCal, but having all these different elements in your music, you know, you're, you're classified, you know, on paper as being reggae slash pop slash rock, but looking at your videos, your stage performances, you embody all different types of genres. You have sort of like a hip hop style to you. you guys. Done your homework decent. I love it. Try. I try. Yeah. I try. Yeah. I try. Very astute. Right. Very see that. Yeah. See that. Nice. So, with all these different nuances that you have to make you guys what you are. I think the question here is how do you continue to still be you despite having all these different little little things that make up this like gumbo of comic kings? <laughs> well, I think you put it best. You know, there's so many different things, and that's really all. That's it, it, it personifies who we are. We are all those things. I mean, I grew. Up, he's like solid R&B, like to the bone. You know, like he could sing like re retarded, right? All different influences. And, our influences are more like alternative. Yeah, I mean reggae, but you know he's his best favorite band is Three Eleven. Mine's Red Hot Chili Peppers and um, Danzig, some other stuff. And, and Mata's is Taylor Swift. So <laughs> you know, we can say that Mata has the best taste. Out of my favorite album, T Swizzle. T Swizzle. T Swizzle. T -swizzle. T -swizzle. T -swizzle for life. No, but I'm mean, so like, doll. <laughs> Love it, girl. You're, you're absolutely right. That all all of our um, our live shows. It's it's very indicative that we we enjoy being entertained as fans of a lot of artists today, Justin Timberlake, Bruno Mars, all of them. They're killing it as far as entertainers, mm -hmm. and we you know we like to entertain and have a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Dope, dope. So 
from what I understand about Polynesian culture, it all centers around two things. It's either food yep. or music. Yeah. So it's so weird you say that. <laughs> in that order, too. In that, in that order. But having that influence once again and then coming from SoCal where it's just like such a laid back, chill, you know, just like every day is a day at the beach, not to sound corny. It's like, do you ever feel like those two are kind of conflicting a little bit because Polynesian culture is so like aggressive and you guys have, you know, warrior lineage. And then you look at, you know, SoCal where it's just like so relaxed and so mellow. Do you feel like there's kind of like, not so much a conflict, but you feel like the contrast kind of helps when it comes to music and other things in your lives? Yeah, it does. Sure. Um, it's, it's weird you mentioned, uh, you know, food and music. That's how we all met. Is <laughs> that a barbecue? Uh, no. a jam session. Newport Beach. Barbecue. Yeah. He lived right behind Dennis Robin. <laughs> and he's like, dude, I like you guys, man. Uh, <laughs> that's a great round. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but as far as like the aggressiveness, you know, the, I think that comes out in different, you know, obviously state. Like, because we're about as laid back as, yeah. you know, laid back can be. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, but then, you know, there's obviously certain points, you know, you know, you push too far back. Yeah, like okay. don't steal our food. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's where the aggression is. Um, uh, and then obviously with sports, you know, Polynesians, they're very, you know, they're excelling in football and, um, and, and other sports as well. And I guess that's where the warrior, you know, mentality comes in. And then for us, I think going after our dreams, that's kind of, we're pretty relentless about that. Mm -hmm. um, our work ethic, you know, uh, we're always pushing ourselves, and, you know, to, to be better. Definitely. And we take that word mentality on stage, you know, yeah. that's kind of game day for oh, us. Oh yeah, that's definitely, yeah, it's game time. So, you know, without defending, so, you know, before any shows, is it the haka, the siva top of the uh, stage? <laughs> <laughs> we do a prayer, we do do a prayer, we do a shot first, then we pray for the shot, and then we all do stretches and stuff, but, you know, we just kind of yeah, mentally stretch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, prepare ourselves. Dope, dope, dope. So you know. this year you guys released your album on Boston Paradise, yes. yeah. which I just found out was nominated for a Grammy this year. Yeah. 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 Our sister Stephanie, she's also our tour manager. Uh, she's balling. <laughs> On the other end, just like, <laughs> what? And so like, what? What happened? Are you okay? So <laughs> anyway, so when she told us, uh, uh, then, uh, then we did the exact same thing. We, you know, we're so I, around. Yeah, I told everybody we're staying at this, um, this like, it was our day off, and we're staying at this like super like eighteen hundred. Hotel like built in the 1800s. It was like I mean you, you literally felt like you just kind of walk walk softly in there. There's ghosts like, literally <laughs> everywhere. Uh, and it was it was like 5:30 in the morning, and you know people are still sleeping. Dude, I ran up. I was like pounding on the doors like, wake up! Like we just got. He comes in. He comes to the door thinking something bad happened, and I'm like, dude, we just got an eagle. What? And then Jared was sleeping on the couch. He literally rose up like Dracula, just like, whoa! <laughs> like he was, at first he was freaked out because I was like, get the Yeah, I was like, like, So he was like scared. He goes, what? what? And then I'm like, we got nominated. He goes, oh my God. So anyway, we all cried. And stuff. That's awesome. It was awesome. It was a great moment. That's something that you know everybody aspiring to make music in one form. Yeah. They hope to get that call. You know, so yeah. definitely that's the peers too. It's it's definitely yeah. it's 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 you guys definitely sure. deserve it because the album is awesome. Appreciate it. Thank you. It. Thank you. you know, especially you know my favorite song, you know, Marijuana. Hey. 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 <laughs> It's it's a song about a girl named yeah, Mary. Yes. Mary it was a school crush. Yeah, that's what that song is about. <laughs> that drug well, that. Was, if you listen to the song, it actually <laughs> sounds yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, school bad. crushes. <laughs> <laughs> the name of the album, Lost in Paradise. Yes. Now, 
you guys had, you know, I would like to think the privilege of, you know, being from paradise in some esteem. Mm -hmm. You know, whether it be, you know, your Polynesian descent or living out in California. Right. But when it comes to like the state of mind, what do you guys constitute as paradise? It's a good you know, question. Stage. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah that, that, or the that studio, that. just in an element, in our element. That's probably creating, really creating music. That's that's what paradise making, making something out of nothing. Yeah, definitely. So you guys just feel like you know, you guys are living your paradise right now. So oh, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Chasing, chasing your dream because yeah. you guys haven't had like a day job in like five years or something crazy like yeah, that. Six, six years. Six years. Six years. Yeah. About six years. So you guys are definitely in paradise, and hopefully we get to go on this journey with you. Yeah. Yes. You know, yeah. Decent. Everybody's welcome. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Come play your room. Hey. hey. So, hey. We're gonna play a little game. I love games. And it's called Everyone. Common Interest. Okay. And we my guess. Alright. So, okay. I'm gonna come up with a specific topic or a specific interest. And whatever interest speaks to one of you guys, I wish to speak up. Okay, so let's say the new Star Wars movie came out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And after that, I wanna go hit up Comic Con. And then after that, mm -hmm. I want to take a strut down the same marks to visit the whole video game place. Which one of y'all know? Right here. <laughs> right here. I'm the, I'm the nerd. Gamer right I'm here. Gamer. I'm the gamer. Of the we met at college at East Irvine. I met this one at a cyber cafe. <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of Vietnamese and this guy killing everybody on Counter-Strike. I was like, yo, we got to go to class, bro. <laughs> Gillen, That's why I didn't graduate. No. <laughs> <laughs> the only person I know that got enough credits, but in different, three different majors. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm the game with the group. Yeah, I'm awesome. 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 Okay, so let's say I'm like stuck in the middle of nowhere. It's like a tundra, and all I got is like, maybe like a skateboard, and you know, maybe like two huskies. Who am I calling? <laughs> John Deere over here. Just because I'm country. <laughs> Come on. It's the most country Polynesian I've ever seen in my life, man. Oh, uh, yeah, I rock that, man. I grew up up. How do you know these things? I went to a boarding school like up in the middle of nowhere uh, where <clears throat> for PE we had, uh, we drove uh, tractors, caterpillars, backhoes. We uh, dug up, I mean, yeah, we were we grew stuff. Field uh, four too. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Like what? Like our, we had like wilderness survival. That was like one of our PEs. We didn't have sports. We didn't have like football, basketball, and nothing. We just yeah, big game hunting. That was <laughs> right. Yeah. Awesome. We literally that <laughs> oh snowboarding. Yeah. That's what I learned how to snowboard. Oh, it teaches you team building and how to forge for your own food. Exactly. This is how to survive. Okay. <laughs> so before, let's say. I want to go play a quick game of pickup, but then after that, I gotta go play the cello. Who am I hollering at? <laughs> this guy, right? Or right here? <laughs> oh, yeah, man. I was the only one in high school that would. I played three sports and was in band and jazz. I was the only one that made going to football and band camp cool. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure it was cool? <laughs> <laughs> state of mind, yeah. man. That was me. Cool yeah, is the state of mind there. Cool is the state of mind. Yeah. But then, yeah, it was, sports was a big part of my life. And then it was like, yo, what's safer and what's as far as longevity? So I chose music. What was the um, other two sports that you played? Uh, did try to field basketball. Dope, dope. What yeah. position you play? Uh, the four and the five for, for basketball. And then I played uh, fullback and uh, linebacker for football. We have to have a pop that's a bigger game I'm calling you. Yo, <laughs> let's go. All right. All right. Don't sleep on me, though. Ah! Shoot it right here. You got Ray Allen. Get the shot, boy. <laughs> so he can kill a deer and... <laughs> I did have a shot. Kill and three. He's going to do a bigger roll. <laughs> that's that's it. awesome. <laughs> These are all the skills that you need to like, kids. Yeah. Okay, last but not least, I know about process of elimination. Me! <laughs> no, no. <laughs> but let's say it's Friday night, and I'm in mood. 
to go do karaoke and sing some old school new edition. Oh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm talking Candy Girl. Damn. I'm talking oh. Telephone, man. It's the telephone, man. Yeah. Can you stay in the rain? Hey. hey. Am I wrong with you? Yeah, you're wrong with you. Okay, okay. Let's okay. okay. be on that stage singing those songs together. Because <laughs> you know, I got the it is this is my this is my is my life. This is my so, some of your tour experiences, you've been on tour with Justin Timberlake, yes. um, Fifth Harmony. Um, how was that? I mean, yeah, besides, you know, hysterical in every way, shape, or form. <laughs> you know, people mistaking you guys for bodyguards. Yeah, like, oh, dude. You know how many times that we roll up with our gears and, oh, just go, hands up. I know you're the man, bro. <laughs> Yo, y'all sing. Y'all sing. It didn't help that they're so small too. Yeah, dude. Like, I mean, I mean they're tiny. Yeah. Lo what's her name? Lauren. Lauren is like super tiny. Well, they're sweethearts, but they're, so they're, they're yeah. small. We're just, just so imagine like, we're just big. all these moms and these little oh, tiny yeah. girls and the daughters just like. Who the hell are these big Mexicans? <laughs> they are so talented. <laughs> and it we were help that you guys are from SoCal. Too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We were a hit with the moms. The so all the moms. We were the same size as their bodyguards. Yeah, dude. So like, they all we got, it, man. We got but JT got to be the top. Yeah, JT that was tour was ridiculous, man. I can just imagine. We did a month with them. It's the most down to earth person. By yeah, man. We've had the privilege of meeting that that's a you know real life superstar. Yeah, that's also that also should be a testament to you guys, shops as musicians, the fact that you're able to rock on tour with somebody like that. Dude, it's like at this point, his career considered a legend. So right. for you to be on that same platform and killing it, you know, that had to be like you know reassurance that you know we've arrived, like we can do this. Like if there was ever any doubt from anyone, you know, we've had the platform to show that we're just on top of our game right now. Yeah, yeah, you know, it, it's it takes a while for us to like kind of separate ourselves mm. from like what's actually like being in the moment. Yeah. You know, we we're such we're such huge fans that we stay in this fan mentality. Like when we're with yeah. like Justin, and we're, you know, we're like we're just you know, yeah. we're like what is it? Fan girl, you fan girls. <laughs> I fan girl. That's, yeah, that's you know, but we don't we don't take a step back and like look at the whole ramification of like this is huge. You know, like, <laughs> floating bottles. Yes, this is the only <laughs> interview in the world where the you get bottle service. Yeah. Yo! Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, the we bought yes. this every week. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. He can leave you half hanging. Oh, my man. Thank you. Here we go. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, you got oh, enough? You guys? I was a little sad. Thank Thanks, you, but... guys, here that popped us. We only. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we're between two ferns right now. <laughs> I love that. Between two ferns. <laughs> we got that. We got that. Now. <laughs> But that's so cool that even with everything you guys accomplished and even still being around superstars that there's parts of you that are still fans because it can get a little bit testy, so to speak, being on the road as much as you guys are and having the level of success that you have that eventually your passion becomes a business. How do you maintain that mentality of, you know what, we started this as friends, as brothers, and every time we hit that stage where you know, living out our dream and just playing music. How do you make sure that that stays the primary focus amongst everything that you reach? That's a, that's a really good question because mm -hmm. I think we do. There are times when you know, like when if the tour gets really long, like this is our longest tour that we've been out on right now. It's like oh, it's been maybe three months. Uh, when I heard you, you know, today's a new day. It it helped me get over this one thing. You know, like that, in that moment, I think for us, it's like, hell yeah, this is, this is the reason why. You know, and this is, this is what's important. This is why we work hard. This is why we work hard on our shows. This is why we try and make, you know, the experience of coming to, you know, of buying a VIP package. You know, you come, we play, we, we do a whole acoustic set for you. You know, we give you drinks. It's like a party before the show even starts. Yeah. You know, so that's why we take such... Uh, you know, uh, such care with 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 our fans is because 
our fa- I guess our, our fans are as a reflection of the passion that we have for this music. Once again, you guys are on tour right now, and yeah, tomorrow man. night, and Friday, you guys are in Boston. Boston. Woo! My yes. Yes. Shout out, Yo, shout out to the back in Boston. The the Paradise. Paradise Club. Yeah, so if you're in the Boston area, Come through. Boston hey, Paradise. Hey, at Paradise. Hey, Paradise. Hey, yo, Boston. Hey, Kings. Yeah. Hey, hey, get over here. Hey, 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 see what he did there? There's some wicked pisses. Wicked pisses. Wicked pisses. Wicked pisses. One wicked ad. Come see Tommy Kings. Have a yad. Yeah. All right. Hey. What's up? Whoa, 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 whoa. Where are they going to be able to find you at? Because they want to find your music. I got to find your music. Where are you going, bro? Yeah, social. At Common Kings, at Common Kings everywhere. everywhere. Everywhere, yes. Uh, YouTube, it's uh, at Common Kings, Kings Music, but everywhere else is at Common Kings. Apple Music, Twitter, 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 Twitter. Check it out on our website, Twitter.com. Twitter. Make sure to go get that album, yeah. Lost in Paradise. Lost in Paradise. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, Common Kings, Woo! I'm Decent, yeah. Pop Best Presents. We out of here. See you yeah. in yeah. Cheers. Popping bottles, much love. Woo! Woo! Yeah. yeah.